guys welcome back to my channel my name is Karin guys today we are starting our seeds we are in February we need to start our onion seeds I live in Ohio is on 6a you have to start if you want to grow onions and harvest in the summer you need to start your seed indoors except if you are growing it from the, the sets like the little little ones you buy and you put on the ground that way you can wait but when you're starting it from seed like this you have to start it indoors for you to harvest in the summer so today i'm starting my seeds so let's start planting guys guys to start your seeds indoors you will need seed starting mix I got this from Lowe's. You can get it from Home Depot. Any can do. I have this one. And I also have the Miracle Grow one. You have to use seed study mix to start your seed indoors. Yes, guys. So this is what I'm going to use to start my seed. Guys, right here I have my containers for my onion. This one is just my, like when you buy mushroom in from the store. Those little containers. That's it. I saved them. You see, I'll put all on them. I'm going to use some of it to plant my onions. I also have this container. I'm going to use some of it to... If, I'm planting even some of my spices today, guys. So, um, we're going to now um put our soil. I need to wet this, this uh, soil a little bit. Right now, I'm adding water in the seed starting mix. To, do, to damp it a little bit before we can start uh, sowing the seed. And make sure you have your gloves on because you don't want to introduce any disease. Because when you introduce disease, sometimes it will kill your seed. So make sure you wear your gloves, everything is clean. So you don't introduce any disease, guys. After I finish to dab my soil, I will now put it in my containers. Make sure you, you push it down a little bit so it's a little bit compact in there. Don't push it too much, but push it a little bit down. Yeah, and don't put it to the top because we're still going to cover it with the top after we finish to plant the seeds. We still cover like soil or prolite on top of it. Also using these containers. Yeah, I'm also using them. Sometimes when you buy like like people that don't do uh, big gardening stuff, when you buy some of your uh, uh, plants in the spring, you need to learn to store this, save them. Yeah, you can use it to grow your seeds. Yeah, so I'll feed them too just like this. Guys, I'm planting different varieties of onions today. The red, the yellow, walla walla, um, span a uh, sweet Spanish onions, Texas giant, different, different type of onions. Yes, that's what I'm planting today. Yeah, you guys forgive me. Oh, my son was the one helping me to shoot this video. <laughs> yeah he's just learning to shoot it he just stays in one place <laughs> don't don't move so i'm so sorry yeah yeah i'm shooting sometimes i think he's doing it like you see right now i'm showing you guys the seat i thought he's bringing the camera close but he just stay in one place so what can i do <laughs> We are both learning how to handle all these camera things, guys. So you guys just be patient with me. <laughs> so I'm just going to plant my seed. I put a lot because onions, sometimes you put seed, they don't germinate. You can buy a packet of seed of onion and plant it, none of them come up. So I'm just going to put a lot. If it grows, if it grows a lot, I can transplant it, guys. Guys, I'm going to cover the top of my seeds with vermiculite or you can use prolite. Guys, do not put a lot of it. Just put like a, just a light layer of it. You can get the vermiculite from Home Depot or Lowe's. 
Yes, even ProLite, you can get it from there. Those places have all those things. So I'm just going to cover the top of my seat with that. Don't make it too thick, guys. Guys, I'm also planting um, bunching onions. Yeah, I'm also planting this. Bunching on last year, I did not plant bunching onion, but this year I have to plant my bunchy onion using this container right here. Okay, here guys. I'm also planting leek. Yeah, last year I planted so much leek. This year, no, I'm just gonna plant a little bit. That's it, just a little bit of leek, guys, tiny little bit. Not like because I still have them in the freezer so much lake. I'm also planting chive. Guys, by this time you guys saw my face. It's covered with dust. But you know, boys, they are different from girls. My son will not even care to see mommy, your face is covered with dust. Me when I'm dealing with soy, I have so much allergy, my nose will start to itch me. My face is covered with dust, guys. <laughs> Guys, I'm also planting my helps. I'm starting with my rosemary. Right there, I'm going to use this. I'm just going to plant each of the helps in. Um, helps take long to, to, to start growing like uh, onions do. They are not even much, guys. So tiny in there. <laughs> this is rosemary. I've never... Grow rosemary before, guys. Um, this is my first time I'm starting it. So that's my rosemary. I'm just going to put the level so I don't mix it up. And then um, we start with basil. Okay. I'm telling you guys that I've reduced seeds now in the stores they have reduced everything and you buy seed now it's just few in there guys just few i just want to level them before i cover them um so i don't make mistakes this one is a uh, uh, thai uh, basil I'm also planting sage and par uh, parsley. That's it. I've never planted sage before, so this is my first time, guys. Guys, for this one, for the uh, my helps, I'm using. The sea study mix to cover the top. Yeah. I also plant some thyme right there. I planted already. They are so tiny. <laughs> Just gonna cover it lightly. So the seeds are very small. I'm done planting all my seeds, my onions, my herbs. I've labeled them. Right now, I'm going to, when I started, I dumped the, the, the seeds started mix a little bit. But I'm still going to like um, uh, uh, water it a little bit. But I'm going to do it. In, I'll not put it on the top. I'm just going to pour my water inside this container. So it will soak from the bottom, guys. When it finish to soak, um, if there's a little bit, I'll let it sit like this to soak maybe for like 30 minutes. If there's any extra water left in here, I'm going to um, um, drain it and, and, and trash it. Yes. Guys, um... It's very cold out there for me to go get my, um, there's a top I normally put here that will create like a greenhouse in there so your seed can germinate. 
uh, fast. But the problem is, uh, guys, it's freezing out there. So I'm gonna just going to use my like a, a plastic wrap and put it on top of it. Just to create like more heat in there. Like a little mini greenhouse. When it starts to germinate, I'll take this off. Yes, just take it off when it starts to germinate. You guys see that? That's how I'm going to do that. Oh, no. <laughs> it's freezing out there. Yes, guys, that's it. You see that? I might poke a little bit of hole so they are. You can have a little bit of breathing space. Not too much heat in there. Yeah. That make some holes in there, and that's how I'm gonna just go and keep it. I'll put it in this room. This is where I'll put it. If you guys see, I'm growing stuff up here, but where I'm gonna put it right down here, there's no light on. When it start to germinate, then I will not uh, put the light on. But right now, there's no light on it. Yes, this is where I have my grow lights. This is the area I have it. So that's where I'm going to put them, guys. You guys see how easy it is to start your own seed. I will take you guys through the journey of these onions from the time I sow the seed to when I will transplant and harvest them. I just want you guys to see how long it takes to grow onions. I don't want to rush things. I just want you guys to see step by step. So you guys be patient. <laughs> we are growing and learning together. Yes, guys. We have come to the end of our video thank you guys for watching please do not forget to subscribe like this video hit the notification bell thank you guys for watching see you next time bye bye